Widows and orphans of fallen heroes of the Nigerian Navy have received financial support from the Naval Officers' Wives' Association, NOAA. This move is to cushion the effect of economic hardship faced by the widows and orphans. Plus, TV Defence correspondent Dustin Mamo has more. This move by the Naval Officers' Wives Association is a deliberate attempt to bring soccer to widows and orphans of fallen heroes. President of NOAA, Mrs. Ijona Ogala, ably represented by Adebukola Hassan, Zono Director and Senior Officers' Wives. Adebukola Hassan explained the need to put a smile on the faces of the fallen heroes' families this yuletide. The beneficiaries could not hold their joy. Our special guest of honor, distinguished writer and guests, ladies and gentlemen. Maltreatment of widows is unfortunately common in many parts of our dear country. Unions and communities subject widows to constant physical and emotional abuse. Women are made to suffer the double tragedy of losing their husbands and going through some excruciating cultural rights to prove their innocence in the death of second Dealing with the pain of losing loved ones is agonizing enough. Coping with subsequent physical and psychological trauma is simply inhumane. The theme of today's event, Finding Joy Again, resonates deeply with the essence of humanity. It celebrates the indomitable spirit of resilience we all carry individually and collectively. Grateful to God that uh, I'm being remembered by uh, our fellow women that I was actually part of and I'm still part of. I bless the name of the Lord because, uh, in fact, it's actually a shock. I was not expecting it. I was dazed by their love and their support. And I pray that uh, God will continue to uphold Noah in Jesus' name. It's not easy. The Naval Officers Wife Association, Noah, is a great organization. Thank you for the goodness of their fellow women who lost their husbands in the process. So doing this annually is not easy. We thank the Senate's wife, we thank the commands of the Air Force's wife, we thank the whole NOAA executive for keeping to their promise. I was here last year and today I'm here again. The flag officer commanding Western Naval Command, who is the special guest of honor, commanded the Naval Wives for their exploits while also encouraging the widows on better welfare plans. In my mother's assessment, NOAA, as a non governmental organization, has lived up to my expectations. The organization has done excellently in providing the much needed skills attribution programs to our teaming youth in areas of employment and job opportunities. Also, it has provided support and other assistance to our families in the barracks and buildings at short notice. On the national team, NOAA has provided numerous humanitarian assistance to orphanages and internally displaced persons. As 2024 approaches, better welfare have been outlined for the less privileged by NOAA. Best in Plus TV News.